straight away to our workout file firstprog.py. Search for idle in search window and click copy the app. It will take you to Python shell. Open our folder Corona and open our file. In case you want to try out the program along with watching the video, please split the screen vertically into two halves. In one half, you can see the video and on the other, you can work on your file. You can use the Windows button and left arrow or right arrow key to split the window. Let me show you. Here is a uh, video playing. That, Cut it into that's disappointing. Half. Modify the program. You can place your Python file side by side. Watch the video and whatever uh, things you have to type into your program, you can do that also. Of course, it's up to you. In the last session, we created a game window and named it screen. Let us run the program. It creates a screen of 800 pixel width and 600 pixel height. You can observe there is a Pygame icon and the screen is named Pygame window. First, we will customize the window name. I just typed these two lines. First one is a comment, indicates that we are going to customize the window. We have typed pygame.display.setCaption coronavirus. Coronavirus is the name we are going to give to this window. Now let us save it and run it. Now uh, see the window. The icon is same. Pygame icon is there, but the name has changed. It is Corona Various. Now let us see further. Now we will change the icon. We need a suitable image for this. It must be .png image file. There are many sites on the internet which provides images and icons which you can download free. I have downloaded the image safetysuit.png from flaticon.com and used it as an icon for coronavirus. You can download an image for icon and copy it to your folder corona. Now we will store that image in the variable logo. I have modified the comment. I also added images downloaded from flaticon.com so that you can refer it and uh, have a look at the flaticon.com site. We have stored the image file safety suit.png to the variable logo and invoked a python comment python.display.setIcon and given the image file name as argument. Now let us save it and run it. Now we can see our customized screen with the corona warrior icon with the screen name corona warrior. Let us close it. Now let us discuss the RGB color scheme which Python uses. Color is represented as a triplet of red, green and blue. 255 is the maximum saturation for a color. 255,0,0 is the representation for red. 0, 255, 0 is green. 0, 0, 255 is blue and 255, 255, 255 where all colors have maximum and equal saturation is white. 0, 0, 0 is black. Other colors are created as a combination of these shades. I will take you to a site rapidtables.com where a detailed explanation of this colors are available. You can see, for example, you choose uh, red, the color code appears here, red, green, blue. The combination you can see, red 255, 0, 0. You take blue, 
it is 0, 0, 0255 you take green 0, 0255 0 you can choose any color uh, from this palette the code will be given here in pi games we don't use hex we use only rgb scheme you can find out the code for any color combination you can pick up any color from this table and experiment with that now and let us go back to our file we can store the colors in variables instead of giving the triplet code every time we have to specify a color i just typed a few lines i'll explain it the site address of rapid tables also given in the uh, comment so that you can refer to it and explore it further now first variable black its color code is given like this it is expressed as a triplet of numbers up to 255 here black is 0 0 0 red 255 0 0 green blue and white 255 255 255 by convention in such programs these variables which have a permanent nature are given all caps now let us see whether we can use this color code in our program in the while loop we have used screen fill to indicate black we are typed 000 we can replace it with black now let us save and run it of course the screen color is black it doesn't throw up any error now let us see the screen fill color to blue and see what happens i will edit black to blue save it and run it the screen color is still black i will tell you what anything we put on the screen within the loop will be visible only when you use the flip or update command if you draw anything on the screen or if you place an image on the screen it will be visible only when either of this command is used when we used black there was no problem because it is a default color of the screen but when we change the color to blue it is still showing black because we have not updated it let us go and correct it let us save it and run it now the color of the screen has changed you can see the coronavirus icon you can see the name of the screen coronavirus and the color of the screen is blue now you can experiment changing color you can experiment changing size of the screen for example we can change the size of the screen to 1200 and 700 let us see how it will appear the size of the screen has changed what will happen if we change the size of the screen to 0 0 it should occupy the whole screen let us try it out it fills the whole screen so you can try changing the size you can try changing the color of the screen now let us see how an object can be placed on the screen suppose here we have a screen with 800 pixels width and 600 pixels height normally our uh, graph as the zero zero position at the left hand bottom corner but here on a pi game screen the position of zero zero coordinate is at the top left corner so if an object moves to the 
right its value on the x axis increases and if an object moves down its value on the y axis increases. Suppose we want to place a dot exactly on the middle of this screen, we have to take half of x axis and half of y axis that is 400, 300 will be the coordinate where we have to place a dot to be exactly in the center of this screen. Suppose we have to place an object, here I have shown an object, suppose we place it at the same coordinate 400 x 300 y this will appear like this. Every image is represented in a rectangle. What is placed at the coordinate 400 x 300 y will be the top left corner of the object. If it has to be in the middle of the screen, we have to place the object at 400 minus width by 2 x and 300 minus height by 2 y. Now let us try to put an object on our screen. Let us experiment with our logo image. Its actual size is 512 into 512 pixels. It is stored in the variable logo. We have placed it on the header bar of our screen. Let us see how we can place it on the screen. If we have to place it on the screen, we have to draw or blit it on the screen. Then we have to do an update. Let us do it. We have typed a line of code just below the screen fill command. Screen dot blit means draw on the screen. What has to be drawn? That is the image contained in the variable logo. Where it has to be drawn? It has to be drawn at the coordinate 0, 0. Now let us save it and run it. It works. Since we have an update statement at the end of the loop, updating or flipping is taken care of. Now we just observe the size of the image on the screen. Its original size is 512 into 512 pixel. This is the same image which we have used to put as an icon on the screen header. You just see it here. The command pygame.display set icon has compressed the image and made it very tiny and put it on the header bar. Suppose you place the screen blit logo before screen fill. Screen fill will overwrite it and the image won't be visible. Let us see that. Just take it from here and put it just before the screen fill. Save, run. It shows the screen but not the image. The image has been overwritten by the screen fill. Now let us try to put the image exactly in the middle of the screen. We have altered this uh, screen blit command and now we are telling that 600 minus 256 that is 600 is the half of width of the screen and 256 is half of the size of the image. So, 600 minus 256x and 350 that is half of the screen height minus half of the height of the image. Now let us save and run it. Now you can see the image is exactly at the middle of the screen. The purpose of putting things in the loop is to make it dynamic. At the beginning with the first line of code being screen fill, the screen is wiped clean and the command lines below are executed one by one according to the flow set by us and it is repeated until the value of running is false. The object movements are achieved by 
erasing and displaying the next position with every iteration. Since things happen fast, a sense of motion is created. Speed of iteration depends upon, in our case, on the number of instructions, the size of image, the speed of our computer processor, etc. To create a realistic video effect, minimum 24 frames per second is considered a no. We can set the frame rate in our program also. We will deal with it later. Now our screen is plain. We can change it and make it very attractive by providing a background image. You can use any JPG or PNG photo that you shot in your mobile as your background image or you can download one from the sites like flaticon.com which provide for downloads of images free. I have used an image of a sky shot on a mobile by a friend. I copied the image screen a dot png to our corona folder. We had loaded the image for the logo using the pygame function pygame.image.load. Let us do it the same way. We have changed the name of the variable, also the file name screen a.png instead of the safety suit.png. We have also put a blit command here. It says on the screen, blit means draw the image stored in the variable background at the location x0, y0. Now let us save it and run it. It works, but there is a small problem. Only part of the blue screen is filled. Size of the image screen a.png is only 800 into 600 pixels, whereas our screen is bigger. We have to take care of this so that the image will cover the whole screen. For this, let us add a transform scale to the function we have typed. Now, let us save it and run it. Perfect. It fills the whole screen. Now, we will assign the width and height of the screen to variables so that we do not have to search out and edit every occurrence of width and height. We will replace the numerical values to the variables. We will make it width and height. Here also. Let us save it and run it. No problem no error. We will now move on and place objects on the screen. Coronavirus is the antagonist in our game, coronavirus. Today we will create the object virus. I have downloaded the image of a virus from flaticon.com and kept it in my directory corona. You can download the image and keep it in your corona folder. Ensure that the image is there. Go to the folder, set the file open to all files. By default, it opens only .py files. Click open to see whether the image file is there. Back to our program. We will create a variable virus and load the virus.png file to it. 
we are now familiar with the command of loading of an object now we are creating the virus A variable virus dot image is where we will uh, load the image virus dot png we are also defining the location of the virus as variables virus x and virus y we are also assigning another variable virus well which stores the velocity of the virus we will also create a simple function virus dot load with arguments x and y which will draw the virus image on the screen this function has two arguments x coordinate and y coordinate it will blit on the screen the virus image at the position x and position y we have already defined the virus x position as 100 pixels and virus y position as 100 we will invoke this function within the while loop so that this will be drawn on the screen let us do it let us save it and run it you can see the virus image has been placed at the coordinate 100 x 100 y now we will place the hero of the game the man on the screen we will download an image from a site which allow free download and use open gameart.org we will search for Kenny in the game window. Kenny is a great and generous artist. He has created numerous such images which can be used in game programming and it can be freely used. Let us see. You can download the platformer graphics zip file which contain numerous images. You can select a suitable image from it. I selected a green one, named it pl-1.png and copied it into my corona file. Now we will have to create the man on the screen. Let us go ahead. We are storing the image of man which we have kept in our folder corona into a variable man hyphen image then we have created two variables man x man y indicating the coordinates where the man will be located we have also defined another variable man change which will indicate the speed with which the man will be moving. The man is exposed to corona, hence we will create an additional variable health to indicate his health status. Now we will go ahead and create another simple function which will blit the image of the man on the screen. The man load function has two arguments x and y. It will blit the image of man contained in the variable man underscore image to the coordinates we give at the time of calling it. Now let us call this function within the loop. We have given man x and man y as the arguments. 
which is already defined as man x s 10 and man y s 600. Let us save it and run it. Now, we have the virus on the screen, we have the man also on the screen. Now that the hero and villain are on the screen, we will develop the story further. Let us wait for the next video. We will code movement of virus, multiplying of virus and movement control of man in the next video. Please use the comments on the channel to communicate with us and for any clarification. Please subscribe to our channel in case you like it. We would very much appreciate your feedback. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon with the next video.